Jesus is giving. All right, good morning. Everybody good? Life is good? Things are good? No. Yes. All right. The encouraging news is here, we got some boys. Yes. Yes. Although, we have to admit that girls rule and guys drool, but it's cool to have some boys. So thank you, boys, for, for being here and your families for, for being here. And yes. You ever played the game Tug of War? Or see, maybe field day just happened, or you're going to field day happen this week, and you're playing tug of war, and there's a big long rope, and you're pulling, and they're pulling, your team's are pulling, and it's just going back and forth. And have you ever got to the point to where, when the the match is over, and typically it's the losing team, sadly, they just let go of the rope because they know they've lost, and the the winning team is pulling so hard, and and what happens? The winning team all falls down. But what made the winning team fall down was when the losing team let go of the rope. When the losing team finally says, that's enough, and we can't do it anymore. But did you notice that the winning team never lets go of the rope? They never let go of the rope. Well, today, in our Bible story, there's a little bit of that going on. There's a little bit of 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 tug-of-war going on Jesus is sitting around and and they ask him why should we believe that Je-? why they ask religious leaders ask Jesus why should we believe that you are the Messiah and Jesus says I am the one that gives eternal life in John chapter 10 John chapter 10 he says my sheep hear my voice and I know and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they shall never perish, perish, never die, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave, me, which, which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to take them out of my Father's hand. You see, it's just like a game of tug of war, except for Jesus is on the winning side. You'll never pull the rope out of Jesus' hands. And you'll never pull yourself out of Jesus' hands. And He'll never let you go. Have you ever had anything on the end of a rope? Have you ever helped, helped a friend up? And when you go to help them up, you grab their hand and you hold a little extra tight, don't you? Because you don't want to drop them. Have you ever tried to pick somebody up and they be too heavy? Or your hands slip and they fall back down? I worked in a nursing home one time and we went to pick up a lady, and I, I'm big and strong. I just wasn't ready. I thought I could do it, and she was lifeless. I mean, she was alert, but she, it, was, it was essentially dead weight. And I picked her up, and then I, I, had to, I had to let her back down. I didn't drop her, but I had to let her back down. I had to let go, and I had to regroup. Well, Jesus is never that way. We never, he never has to regroup. Once we're in his hands, he never lets us go. Now, here's, the, here's the, the, the difficult question of the day. Are we all in His hands? We sing the song, the whole world is in His hands. That's a great song. But are we in His hands? Sadly, no, we're not. The only ones that are in His hands is the ones that have accepted Him as their personal Lord and Savior. So I want to encourage you, if you've accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, then you're safe in the palm of His hands. You'll never get dropped. You'll never get left. But if you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, sure, He's there. He's the God of the universe. He's looking out for, you know, but we're not quite in the grasp of His hand. Let's make sure today, for us adults, and let's make sure in the future, like, tomorrow or today that we as kids understand that we need a Savior and that Savior is Jesus Christ and once we accept Him we're in the palm of His hands and He is never going to let us down He will never let us go matter of fact no man shall never take them out of my hands Peter goes on to say, the Bible tells us that the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion ready to devour. And they can't get to us. Why? Because Jesus has us in the palm 
of his hands. Second Timothy says, I know the one whom I put my trust in, and I am able, and I'm sure he is able to keep me safe, that which I have trusted him until the day, until his day comes again. No one can take you out of the Father's hands. The only thing that we need to do is accept him as our personal Lord and Savior. Have you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Let's make today be the day that we accept Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior. Let's pray. Most loving, gracious God, thank you. Thank you for a church filled with laughter. Thank you for a church filled with tears when they need to flow. Thank you for a church filled with T-Rexes this morning. What a blessing it is, Father. Thank you for a church that teaches salvation. Thank you for salvation through your Son, Jesus. For it's in His name that we pray. Amen.